What is going down, peoples of the YouTube? This is Sim with Vengeance, the mayor of Jam City, and I'm bringing you guys another NCAA 14 online dynasty feature in my team, the Ohio Bobcats. And today we are playing Miami University, the Red Hawks, who are controlled by Best Act Around. Links in the description. Go check him out. He makes awesome videos too, even though he probably hasn't made one in a while. Uh, at least uh, from what I've seen. Uh, but you see on this first play right here, he's taking it down the field for a gain of 31 on the very first play. Wow, what a great run from Bull Blankenship. But on the next play, the very next play, then hand off the Blankenship again and get off me, bitch. Stiff armed him, and he's going down the field for another gain of 21. So two carries for 52 yards on the first two plays of the game. Now later on, it's third and five. We're going to see if we can get a first down right here. Tettleton back to throw. Looks over the middle for Foster in the slant routes, but it does not work. And we're going to end up kicking a field goal right here. We're going to try and take a 3-0 lead. And the kick is up. And it is good. So it is 3-0 Ohio. I would have liked to get a touchdown out of it, but I didn't. It's okay. But you see here on third and inches, he dumps it off to his tight end. And he's going to get some big yards right here. He breaks a few tackles, and he gets a solid gain of 20 on the play. I played horrible defense on that. I tried to do the hit stick thing. Didn't work, so I paid the price on that one. But you see right here, his quarterback's back to throw. He gets the completion. How do you tippy-toe that one in there? I have no idea. Uh, but it's whatever. Me and Best Act around, we're, we were all right with that because there was a lot of plays where it just made me baffle. Like sometimes, you know, he would there would be a, a drop ball, and I was like, how did he drop that or how did he catch that? So it kind of balanced itself out. But you see right there, Dustin White stiff arming my dudes all the way down to the one yard line. He looks like he's primed to score first and goal. Look at my defensive setup. This is this speaks failure, and it was a failure. Touchdown, Miami of Ohio. Best Act around takes the lead on me, seven to three. Not the start I wanted on defense, but that's okay. I'm ha here on offense again. Completion to Foster and quadruple coverage pretty much. There was four guys around him, and he still made that catch. That is a pretty tough task right there for a wide receiver like him. But on second and 11 here, I got my running game kind of slowed down after that first possession. You see Bo Blankenship only has 55 yards now after getting the first 52 on the first two carries. But Tettleton scrambling out of the pocket. He's going to take off running, and he's going to slide. Or actually, he gets tripped up, but it's at least, you know, better safe than sorry for him to get clobbered and end up getting hurt. So, second and one right here. Less than a minute left in the first quarter. We're going to hand it off to Blankenship again, and he just gets enough for the first down. I seriously thought on that play that he was stopped short. So, I was going to take that first down. I was like, screw it. <laughs> but first and ten right here. Next play. Read option. And look at this. Nice blocking up ahead. Or actually, nice moves by Tyler Tettleton. Gets a nice gain of 11 yards and a fresh set of downs. We're moving the ball pretty efficiently so far. That's what I like to see from my offense. Just doing their thing. Now, third and one. Hand off to Blankenship. And Blankenship has a bunch of room on that left side. Gets to about the 11-yard line. First and 10 for the Ohio Bobcats. As you see, Blankenship has 81 rushing yards in the first half. This is ridiculous. Tettleton back to throw. He's going to scramble out of the pocket, and he is going to walk this into the end zone. Touchdown, Ohio. It is now 10-7 me over best act around. But now it's his turn on second and six. He's changing the play. Look out. Now you see him changing the play again. Oh, what is he doing now? He's got something planned up. He's back to throw. Look it. Taking his time, too. And he gets the completion to his receiver. I think it's his tight end again. I, I'm not quite sure. It is his tight end again. Gain of 31. And a big user game right there. Now second and 13. He's going to hand it off. Oh, play action. Look at that. His quarterback's a lefty too. So it's almost like he has to turn around to get his feet set. So he gets sacked on the play right there. Loss of 11 yards. Now third and 24 for the Miami of Ohio Red Hawks. Best act around in a little bit of trouble. But you see right here. He gets a pretty good throw and a pretty good catch from his receiver. And he gets just inches short on that third down play. It's fourth and inches for best act around. And we're going to see if he's going to go for it. And he is. And I, I could understand why he went for it right here. His kicker's kind of weak. But he doesn't want to punt it because it would just be a, a, it would either be a touchback or just a, a big disaster. He was too close to punting too far to kick a field goal. So he decided to go for it. And he got it. So third and three right here. He's back to throw. He's looking, taking his time. Gets the, oh my God, how did I not get the interception? But he does get the completion to Jameer Westbrook for a gain of 10. And he's getting closer and closer to the end zone. Now, this is where it gets a little bit tricky. Third and seven. Best act around is primed to score something. Back to throw. He's looking. And it is. And with 58 seconds left, we're going to try and get a quick touchdown. Tettleton. 
dropping back to throw. He looks, gets the completion to Cochran. How did he get that completion? Oh wait, it's that directional passing. It works out so beautifully in this game. You just gotta know where your receiver's gonna go and where the DBs are on the field. It's really easy. Now 54 seconds left. Next play actually. Tettleton, completion to Foster. Past the 45 down at the 43, 42 yard line. Gain of 22 on the play. Now it's first and 10. Next play. Tettleton back to throw again. He's looking. He's going to go outside the pocket towards the middle of the field. Going to get a good gain of almost 20. And we're cooking with gas right now as this team is looking unstoppable. And one thing for sure, best act around was undefeated going into this game. That, that streak could be in jeopardy right now because he's 7-0 and, and almost found his way into the top 25. He's got a few receiving votes, so if I knock him off, it's going to help me out drastically but you see right here I get in the end zone touchdown for Ohio for Bo Blankenship and it is now 17 to 7 now with 27 seconds left he's back to throw and excuse me but that is and now instead of having a 14 to 10 lead that he could have had it is now 24 to 7. Now third and six. The third quarter has just begun. His quarterback's back to throw, and here comes Nick Barber, and that was almost a safety. You want to talk about bad luck for best act around? He just didn't have it this game. He just didn't have that luck. But you see right here, I get the ball back, and I throw a little screen pass to Blankenship right here, and he gets the first down. Look at the juke moves, and he's gonna get a fresh set, 13 yards on the play, and best act around. He, I don't. He was not mad. He was just. He was more mad at himself than he was at me because, you know, it's just sometimes you just have bad luck and to, it, it was just one of those games for him that he just didn't have it. He just didn't have luck on his side. But you see right here, I take off for a nice gain of 18 and we have a first and goal. Primed to score again. And now second and goal, we're going to hand it off to Blanket Chip. Easy scorings for him. Touchdown, Ohio, 31-7. to This is just out of control. Now third and inches for best act around. We're going to see what he can do here. He's back to throw over the middle to his receiver. Nice juke moves, and he gets a good solid yardage right there of 18 with Sam Shizzo. And we're going to see if he can try and score right here because he definitely needs it. He's not doing so good right now. He's almost getting skunked if it wasn't for that first touchdown. Third and three right here. He's going to hand it off to his running back. Gets enough for the first down with Jameer Westbrook. Four third down conversions for him. My defense wasn't really on its game. Or actually it kind of was, but it kind of wasn't. There would be times where he just made some good plays. And, you know, I didn't. So you see right here, that was just one of those examples where he just made a good play and got the first down after that gain of 17. So he's got a first and goal right now with 40 seconds left in the third. It's not likely he'll make a comeback. But you always just want to go out there and play your best, no matter what the score is. You play for pride, and you just don't want to give up like plays like that for the touchdown. And that's he's going to go for two. Understandable, thinking he can come back and try and win this ball game. He does get it right here. It is 31-15. And my job right now is to just wind down the clock. You see, first down and 10. I'm just going to try and do whatever I need to do. I'm going to get a good run right here by Bo Blankenship. First down, gain of 11, and that's going to be the end of the third quarter right there. Is the first play of the fourth quarter here. First and 10, hand off to Blankenship, and Blankenship's getting more solid yards as he's just continuing to do work in this ball game. Gain of 11 yards and a fresh set of downs, and yeah, I'm kind of winding down the clock a little bit, playing with the clock, just trying to milk it like a cow. But you see right here, another hand off to Blankenship, gain of 12, and solid yardage after solid yardage from Bo Blankenship. He's got over 100 yards this game, as you could probably tell with the runs that he had this game. Off to Foster, and look at this play right here down the field. Gain of 23. I don't know how he caught that and how he got away from all that, all those Miami of Ohio defenders, but he did. And, you know, it was a solid play. You see Waters right here, first and goal for the Ohio Bobcats. We might have another touchdown on our hands, making it 38-15. You know, that would really put it out of reach. But you see right here, first and goal. I'm at the 9-yard line. And I'm still trying to choose my play. That was bad editing on my part. I don't know why I'm taking forever. But you see right here, I'm still choosing my play. <laughs> and I do not get anywhere. So that's bad editing on my part. I don't know why I did that. But anyway, 34-15. That's just an awkward moment right there. I'm, I apologize. Sorry. Won't happen again. I'll do better next time. But anyway, first and 10 for best act around is 34-15. And look at that throw right there. That's a beautiful throw. Nice catch by the tight end, tight end uh, Merrick. 
gain a 33 on the play. Now second and 10 for best active round. His quarterback's about to throw. Boucher gets another completion in between two Ohio defenders. Catch by Frazier. Nice catch right there. And now he's in field goal range. Now third and 10. Back to throw is Boucher. He's looking over the middle. And it's going to be caught in the... Oh, it could have been in the end zone. But he's stopped just short with Willie Culpepper. Now third and goal. We're going to see what he can do right here. He's changing the play. My defense looks like it's pretty good. And he gets in the end zone anyway. But it doesn't really all matter. I end up winning the game 34-22. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're a first-time viewer of Sin with Benches, please subscribe. Also stop by my Old School Sin channel. Links in the description. Also stop by Best Acts Around channel. But until then, my name is Sin with Vengeance, and I'm out of here. Peace.